With a new Indiana Jones movie in the works, fans are super excited about it. At the same time, others can't help but be skeptical about it, especially considering their previous entry. But one thing you can be sure of is that Mutt Williams won't be returning. I miss the desert. Who's Mutt Williams, you ask? For those of you who don't know, the character was played by Shia LaBeouf and was the son of the iconic Indiana Jones played by Harrison Ford. The character won't return after serious backlash from fans over the previous entry in the franchise, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. While you may think that the biggest gripe viewers had with the film was that it didn't make sense, one of the biggest problems with it was Williams himself. Considering the upcoming film will be the last film Ford is playing Indy, Lucasfilm and Paramount want to avoid negative reviews and potentially set up someone worthy of taking his place. How did the character end up causing such a massive controversy in the franchise? It's quite simple. Indiana Jones is a cool character who thinks on the fly, something he's well known and loved for. Let's not forget the infinite swagger he's got. Meanwhile, Mutt Williams is just boring and ends up being a whiny man-child. Yeah, not the ideal successor to one of the best characters out there. Despite that, they do have to explain where he's disappeared to, and the upcoming film will do just that. Wondering what wonderful adventure the new day will bring to us. Those days of... The director of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, James Mangold, talks a bit about the film in a recent interview with Entertainment Weekly. While the director didn't give out much information about the film, he did talk a bit about Williams' future in the series. Though he refused to give out too many details, he confirmed that Williams would not be in the film but would still tell audiences what happened to him. But that's not all. There will probably be a magical relic with some secret superpowers like always. You can count on an Indiana Jones film to have that. Back to Williams. The director said that fans need to know what happened to him and that they can't ignore the fact that he's in the franchise's universe, especially since he is the son of Jones. And considering that this is Ford's last time as the character, they do need to wrap the family plot up, so it's unavoidable. Ah, for God's sake, man. Go get help. 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 Go. Mud can be a little impetuous. Well, that's not the worst quality in the world. <laughs> Keep your arms above the surface. When the kid comes back, grab on. Indy, he... He's a good kid, Mary, and you should get off his back about school. Mud, I mean... Not everybody's cut out for it. His name is Henry. Henry. Good name. He's your son. My son? Henry Jones III. Why the hell didn't you make him finish school? Ma! Yeah? Grab on! Grab! I got it! Ah. Come ah. on, Mom! Pull, 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 pull! Pull! <sighs> Another aspect of the film that makes explaining the character's absence easier is that it's placed quite a while after Crystal Skull, like a long time after, and he's probably moved on. The question remains, is he excluded just because he was a bad character, or is there more to it? Admittedly, his reputation as a bad character and hate from fans is a huge reason they're trying to keep him as far away from the upcoming film as possible. But that's not the only reason. Recently, Shia LaBeouf has been pretty controversial, which is another reason they want to keep him out of the film. The Don't Worry Darling drama is just the start. He's involved in many things that no one supports. But some despicable things he's done start with allegations of assault from his girlfriend to making fake claims of being abused by his dad. I mean, who does that? Not just that. But there have even been reports that he's been violent on set, and no one wants to be around him. On the other hand, the film's director is under a lot of pressure to get this film right, since the previous two installments in the franchise weren't the best out there, especially because this is Ford's last time as the character. He needs to get it right, or risk an entire franchise dying out, while only being remembered for letting his main character down. 
So obviously, it's another reason why they're trying to avoid all the negativity that's been associated with previous films. It's no doubt that the actor is turning out to be the opposite of what you would expect from him, but it's the character that's bad. Could he have been that bad, or do fans of the original films just make him out to be that way? Steven Spielberg thinks this is the case for both the character and actor. You might have done a pretty good job if Spielberg doesn't like you. I can't deny that the previous film sucked a lot. It was probably one of the worst films out there. And what made it even worse was that such a whiny character was supposed to be the next Indiana. Could it get even more ridiculous than alien encounters and avoiding nukes by hiding in a fridge? The entire film was full of over-the-top flaws, but ultimately all the hate went towards Mutt Williams. The biggest complaint regarding the character was that he was played by LaBeouf, which is pretty ridiculous and doesn't even make sense. Do people just hate the character because he ruined the film or because of what Mutt Williams represents? The hate for Mutt seems to be misguided since some of the issues stem from the film itself. It is unfair that a character is given all the flack instead of those in charge of production who are responsible for creating a great film. Sure, he wasn't the best character out there and was barely a 5 out of 10, but fully focusing on just him keeping the film from addressing some of the more realistic issues that it had. Grail, I've heard this bedtime story before. Eternal life, Dr. Jones. The gift of youth to whoever drinks from the cup. This is intolerable! If anything, he's a representation of everything wrong with it, though on a smaller scale. Another reason he gets so much hate is probably because he was supposed to take over the mantle and be the next Indiana, but that's not happening. From the moment the film came out, everyone knew that wasn't the case. So, are fans just angry over something that didn't even happen? Even if people out there argue that it's because Shia LaBeouf plays him, it's a bad argument if I say so myself and say nothing about the character itself. While, yes, Williams is a pretty bad character, I won't stray away from that, but he's hardly the reason for the failure of the film. With that said, who else is coming back for the new Indiana Jones movie? It's clear that LaBeouf's mutt is not coming back for the upcoming film, but you might see another famous character from the franchise come back. Yes, I'm talking about none other than Sala who's played by John Rhys Davies and has been one of the most important friends that Indy has ever had since Raiders of the Lost Ark. Not just that, but this time he's going to be the one that brings the long-retired character back into the mix and takes him on a completely new adventure. You can expect the film to get pretty sad, especially since it's his last time going on an adventure like this. This time, they will be focusing on telling a new story rather than just continuing from the previous films so they can fully disconnect from them and take it up a notch. That's all you need to know about the new Indiana Jones movie, explaining what happened to Mutt Williams. See you in the next video.